Hey everybody, this is Chris again with Master Force Tool Reviews. Uh, I told you I'm going to review some other stuff besides just Master Force stuff. Like I got some Ryobi stuff that I'm looking forward to reviewing. It's just everybody's done most of Ryobi stuff. Right now I'm going to review some. I want to go over some of that for people who are just starting to buy tools. Maybe they don't know what they're doing or what to get. I refurbished tools now but I didn't start doing stuff until about four years ago but I when I started I bought this over here I started messing with tools and it's got two wire wheels on it right now which is pointless but it's not really up for use you can see the switch is gone the switch is messed up it still starts but this thing has no cast iron on it it's it's all sheet metal Watch how bad this vibrates when I turn this on and how long it takes to power. Now look, it's vibrating this. It's vibrating this off the table. Okay. We got vibrated into the other bench grinder. That one is just absolutely terrible, and I paid about 40 bucks for it, I think. I think that's what it costs. Let's put it that way. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for it. I think it's about $40 right now. But Skill's got one like it. A lot of companies got one like it. It's a 2.1 amp bench grinder. And it's got no guts. I don't know how else to explain it. When you take a tool and you put it on it, it bogs down in no time. No time. I do that with one hand. I'm bogging it down. It just takes nothing to bog that down. Now this right here, well you guys know I got my Master Force one that I love. It's a five amp and it doesn't bog down nearly so bad. But it takes about five seconds to get up to full speed. I'm gonna tell you what, I picked up this. It was nothing but a bucket of rust for 10 bucks. I found out what brand and model it was and I printed up the label because it lost its sheet metal um, label I put it on here it's a craftsman it's from about 1962 and um, I had extra some extra parts to put with it it was missing but I got it for 10 bucks and it ran like a champ but it was just all rust so I took it home pulled it apart took it apart and cleaned it up but I want you to see this is not bolted down. And I want you to see how smooth this runs and how fast it gets up to speed. Ready? Go. It's up to speed. That fast. Within like a second. Look at the vibration on this. Because see this whole thing is cast iron. All of it on these old ones. Like on my Mass Force one, just the bottom is cast iron, which is nice. It's nice to have some cast iron anymore. You don't get it. But these old ones were full cast iron. And as far as bogging this motor down, you can't bog this motor down. I don't know what amperage it is, but it runs like a brand new motor. And it's pretty awesome. And I picked this up for 10 bucks at a yard sale. I looked them up online. They're about two hundred dollars. When they're when you you know they're you get them in working shape like I got this one in. Just watch for sales at places. Watch for yard sales and stuff because I'm telling you something about the old stuff, the old die, hard hard metal. Uh, the, It'll outrun you, you, you. It'll outlive you. This this bench vice will outlive me. Um, they just last forever. I don't know what. It, I don't know why they don't make them like that anymore. I guess because you'd never sell another one. But uh, like I said, it wasn't taken very good care of. It was abused. But I think I got it back in a pretty good working shape. And I just thought it'd be neat to share it with you and see the difference. Don't spend them $40 on a cheap bench grinder. Don't waste your money. Up your money. Save up for a little while longer. 
and get a hundred hundred twenty dollar one something like that like this one over here this one it was 120 dollars and it's an eight inch it's a big boy and it was fine and it doesn't vibrate either because it's got a cast iron base but don't waste your money on a cheap bench grinder just you, you you're just wasting your time you shouldn't waste your money on really on any cheap tools but a bench grinder particularly is bad so anyhow thanks guys talk to you all later